Well, good morning. Hope you're having a great day. This is E Chip with the Contentment Channel out here at Contentment, and we're ramping up to get some work done on one or both of these dynahoes. Uh, if you've been watching our videos, you'll know that's Dyna, and this is the parts machine. And I believe I've said before that when we bought this parts machine, we realized it's in better shape than Dyna in many ways. So the plan is to take this brand new crated engine that sits behind this plastic, pull all the needed parts off of the old engine, maybe borrow some from Dyna, and build a new engine which will go back into this Dynaho and create a Frankenstein Dyna uh, for this backhoe so that we can use it. Uh, we're ramping up here to begin work doing excavation for a septic and a house pad and things like that this summer. So we're gonna need this backhoe to do it. This is the working area for these dynos in between and right here in front. Uh, and there's really no other place to work. I, I don't want to build an enclosure, but as you all know, if you've been watching our channel, the winds out here are something else. Now the winds are dying down uh, for the season here. They usually die down around the end of May and we still get wind, but uh, not as badly. So, <clears throat> Most of the work will be done outside. The idea here is to begin uh, by building a workbench that I can place right here and move as necessary. Hopefully one that I can bury in the ground, the feet in the ground deeply enough where I don't have to uh, worry about the wind knocking it over. But it's gotta be strong enough to hold some of these heavy parts, including engine parts, and uh, you know have a service to work on, hold tools, that kind of stuff. So today I'll build a workbench. All right, got our cut list, got some wood back over here, and uh, got the saw plugged in. And by the way, this program is brought to you by Buzz, the mobile solar generator, who reminds you to go solar because it's free after your initial investment. camera shows them but there are a whole bunch of mayflies around here they're hanging around but they haven't uh, lighted on me yet and I hope one good reason for that is because I was given this tester to try out um, at the Mother Earth news fair that we attended last October we met someone who was selling this stuff and I explained that we had such a struggle last year with mosquitoes and flies and stuff like that. And I just wasn't sure of anything, you know, that would work short of a, you know, a pretty heavy chemical like a permethrin that's sprayed out like a, you know, like a bug spray. And she said, well, try this and let me know what you think. And if you like it, she just gave me the tester off of her table. And she said, if you like it, why then, uh, you know, buy some, but it smells good. This has clove, anise, and peppermint. And I think that's all it is with a little bit of some kind of uh, naturally occurring silicone that they add to it, all natural, um, I guess to bind it together or hold it or stick to your body or something, I don't know. But um, it's, uh, so far, it seems to be working. The, the, uh, the critters will, will touch me like they'll land on my arm or something, but they immediately fly away. And it lasts a little while, it doesn't last forever, but uh, I'm a little afraid to spray it on my clothes since it has essential oils in it. Um, but 
Oh, what the heck, these are work clothes. So, so far so good, I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, so we've got our pieces cut. Uh, this is the top of the bench, this is a shelf under the bench, and those are the legs. I'll slap them together with some galvanized nails. Um, thinking about using screws but I'm getting low on my screws and I want to preserve them if I can so these galvanized nails are uh, they they have a twist to them uh, they're used for siding and stuff like that and they're used for outdoor because they're galvanized and uh, hopefully that should hold this bench together pretty well just got to do some slamming and banging <music> Well, I'll tell you, it sucks on a non-uniform and unstable surface trying to nail this stuff together and hold it. I'm low on screws. I don't want to use the few I have. And besides, most of them are short. Anyway, too short for this work. I got to find a way to uh, hold the stuff stable. That table is just too weak. Now we'll find a way. Okay, so here's the project that I did everything wrong in, and I sort of did it on purpose. I mean, I used cheap wood, as you can see, it's splitting. Uh, terrible wood, anyway. And, uh, you know, I use nails, which doesn't make it easy to assemble because it tends to bang itself apart as you hammer. Um, I, uh, uh, you know, uh, it's not square <laughs> It's sort of level and I buried the feet in the ground partially hopefully to uh, as a hedge against wind Because I want it blown over And I sort of strengthened it. It racks, you know a little uh, So I strengthened it with some cross bracing on the sides and back It's not gonna last that way forever. You know, it's just a cheap shelf and this is going to wind up in the burn pile. And, you know, by watching the video, you've probably seen how many things I did wrong, mistakes I made that I had to go back and fix and stuff like that because I'm just not paying attention. But, uh, you know, it'll be fine for our needs. Anyway, there it is. Now, time to turn our attention to these two pretty soon. I've... Uh, Robber uh, is out of town and she's bringing back a new hoist and some chain because our old hoist and chain was stolen. Uh, and uh, so 
Uh, hopefully we'll be able to get out here and get one of these things running. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.